Hey there guys and welcome back to Unjaded Jade. It feels like forever that I have sat here and filmed. Maybe you've been keeping up with my life on Instagram. If you want to but you don't already follow me, my name is Unjaded Jade, that easy. Um, but yeah, today is a bit unplanned. It's just gonna be a little bit chatty and this is basically going to be my last video until the end of my exams. As I'm pretty sure you guys know, um, I've got my A-level exams starting next week. Today's Saturday and my first exam is Tuesday, it's chemistry. And then my exams kind of go, I have two on the first week, then three, then four and then I'm done. So it's like a three week period, two, three, four, scales it up a bit and then I'm done. So I keep saying that to myself, you know? Easy, three weeks, done. But today I not only wanted to wish you guys luck and say goodbye and all those great things, um, I also just wanted to touch briefly on the topic of academic pressure. I mean, I feel like it's quite funny because, I mean, here we are with exams and for someone who has a whole channel pretty much about revision and exams and all of that kind of stuff, I feel bloody unprepared. <laughs> and I know you're probably like rolling your eyes and you'll be like, oh yeah, you just feel unprepared and you're just saying you're unprepared, but I feel unprepared and I don't like it. I just did a paper in chemistry, literally like the paper that I'm gonna be doing next week effectively, like that paper. And I didn't get like what I wanna be getting at this stage. And it's just frustrating, I guess. So this sounds kind of like boasty, but I feel like I've got to, I've got to broach the topic. I've kind of always been quite like a high achiever. That's, oh, it's all so, it's all so boosty, but yeah. So I feel like having this kind of reputa reputation, I guess. Yeah, reputation of like doing well and having gotten, you know, all A stars at GCC and all A's and AS and oh look, I have a channel about revision and oh yes, the Times called me a revision guru and all these crazy titles which don't really mean anything when you get into that exam hall and it's a two hour exam and who cares if you've done well the rest of the year because they only care about that moment. Um, yeah. <laughs> God, I've been trying to like voice this topic for the last like 10 minutes. I just can't, I can't say this well. <laughs> right, so I just feel like the fact is there's kind of this unsaid pressure that I feel from teachers and peers in real life. And I suppose, even though it's probably me imagining it kind of from this YouTube community and it is kind of all self-imposed because it's not like an individual person saying like, oh, we expect you to get this. It's not like that. I'm so well aware that nothing's guaranteed. I could walk in that exam room, blank, no nothing. So I do think, fortunately, I've kind of released myself from a lot of the external pressures. But what I find the most difficult thing to release myself from is the kind of pressure that I put on myself. I want to succeed, I want to do well, as do most people. I think without meaning to, I put a lot of pressure on myself to do well because I just, I just want to do well. Um, and it's hard. And it's one of those things that's a lot harder to escape from because it's just you. You know, it's just you wanting the best for yourself and putting that pressure on yourself. Right, so I've been rambling on literally forever, but if you, like me, feel the weight of a multitude of pressures, perhaps it's, you know, from teachers, parents, family, friends, peers, a YouTube community, um, or maybe it is just from yourself, then I feel like there's something that I want to say to you. At the end of the day, there is only one thing that matters the most in exam season and in tests and academic life. And that is doing your best. And I know it sounds really cliche and I know you're gonna be like, oh yeah, I've heard that advice a hundred times, seen it on social media, whatever. But if you actually think about it, it's all that really matters, you know? Like if you're putting in the time, you're spending your hours and your minutes 
doing revision and work and if you're approaching each awful flipping question with like a positive mindset and you're going in there and you're just you're just trying you know no grade can really attest to that no grade will ever completely translate your work ethic it doesn't really work like that and you've got to start giving yourself some peace of mind that is not based purely off of how many correct statements you wrote and i'm saying all of this not just for you but for me because i feel like i need to hear these things um, i think in some ways pressure that you put on yourself is good because it not only shows that you care it kind of motivates you to work harder it gives you goals it's just about not letting those expectations turn into like fears oh, what am i doing this video really has not been very useful or very motivating or inspiring um i feel like it's been a bit of a vent but at the same time if you've got exams still if you've got the rest of your gcse's you're starting your a-level exams or any other fancy international exams then i wish you the best of luck and even though it's weird because i'm just sat here in my room talking to a camera right now i feel like i see you and i feel you and i want you to do well that's partly why i started this channel you know to help people out um so please do your best to stay as positive as possible. I will be trying to as well. You don't even really need luck. I don't know, I feel like that's just something that everyone says, isn't it? But you don't need luck. You've worked for this. Please just go in there every single exam, visualizing it to go the best that it can go. Come out feeling like you've done your best. Even if it went horrifically, you know, you still, still tried your best. And try and release yourself from whatever pressures you have. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all your support in my academic journey. <laughs> and I suppose I will chat to you in three weeks. What? Three, like see you on the other side, like what is this? So yeah, it's a goodbye from Unjaded Jade for a while. <laughs>